Whole Hog Software version 3.0 offers several new advances in functionality, including Microsoft Vista compatibility for Hog 3 PC, improved network features, communication with the new DMX processor 8000, which includes the ability to use ArtNet, and new DMX widget functionality. Looking first at the Improved Network tab of the control panel, you'll find a DHCP server, which was previously only available on the Whole Hog 3 console, is now available on the Roadhog Fullbore, the Hog IPC, and even Hog PC. There's also no longer a need for the loopback adapter when binding to HogNet. You'll find further feedback information about the state of your adapter here. If you will be using a DMX processor 8000, it will connect over HogNet in the same way your DP2000 did. Let's say that you want to control a DL3 via ArtNet from your DMX processor 8000. Here I'm showing a whole hog 3 connected to my DMX processor 8000 via a crossover cable. For my DMX processor's fixture port, I'll connect an Ethernet patch cable to a router and another patch cable to my DL3's Ethernet port. The network communication between the console and the DMX processor is considered hognet and it is configured in the network tab of the control panel. The network connection from the DMX processor to the ArtNet controlled fixtures is configured in the ArtNet outputs tab of the DMX processor settings, which we'll see shortly. Of course, your fixture will need to be configured to listen to ArtNet. In this example, I've set my DL3's control source to ArtNet and set an ArtNet universe of 1 and a subnet mask of 1. Patching the fixture to a DMX processor 8000 is very similar to the way we've patched to a DMX processor 2000, except that you'll find 16 possible universes instead of 4. I'm going to patch my DL3 as address 1 in universe 5. You can see if your fixture is patched to a DMX processor 8000 or 2000 by making the DP column wider. This window is not concerned with the ArtNet subnet or universes, so I'll need to set that up in the network window. Here I'll click on the net number of the processor that I want to configure and then click Settings. The first two tabs should look pretty familiar, but the ArtNet and widget outputs are new. The ArtNet output tab allows me to obtain network settings from an external DHCP server, or I can choose to manually configure my ranges. In our DL3 example, I'm using a router, so I'd choose the DHCP option. Below there, you'll find 16 possible universes that could be controlled via ArtNet. I patched my DL3 in universe 5 of the DMX processor 8000, so I need to locate 5 and enable it with the plus button. I can choose to broadcast my ArtNet on universe 5, or I can uncheck this and manually enter the IP address of my DL3. Since I might choose to add another DL3 to Universe 5, I'm going to set this back to Broadcast. Now I'll need to enter the ArtNet subnet and the ArtNet universe of my fixture. Remember that these are the settings that I entered in my DL3's menu earlier. I'll change the subnet to 1 and the universe to 1. I'm clicking Changes Only because I only want to broadcast new DMX information to my DL3. Don't forget to hit Apply or OK to save your settings. Widget configuration is now found in the DMX Processor Settings window under Widget Outputs. I can assign my DMX widgets and super widgets in the same manner as before, but now I have a new option. I can click the plus button and double my universe output to multiple DMX 5-pin ports. Here I would be outputting my patch information from Universe 1 over ports 1 and 2 of my super widget. Think of this as a DMX splitter. Your other ports can be configured in the same manner. Visit us online to learn more about these features and also to download version 3.0.